Hey guys, today I'm going to walk you through a very, very powerful feature of Call. I'm talking about managing your MailChimp campaigns. Okay, that sounds a little techy, but it's not. You will see. In order to increase the number of bookings per passengers, you need to create habits. And this takes a lot of communication. The good thing is that MailChimp can automate your communication. We'll dive in it in a few seconds. Carl comes in the game by assigning your customers to the right list. That's very important because you don't want to have the same communication towards people who only registered to your app, people who made the first booking, and those who already made several bookings with you. Okay, let's dive in it. Let's get started. So the first thing, first thing you need to do is to create a MailChimp account. So you just go to MailChimp.com and you sign up for free. The, yeah, I, I forgot to mention uh, this, this uh, website is free. So you put your email address. I'm going to put my go to hotcall.limo. Use the same thing for your username at call.limo and the password. They want a hard password, so I do K or L2018 commission mark. Just remember it, okay? Get started. Okay, now MailChimp sends you an email uh, to complete the registration. Here it is. Just click on activate account. It's going to send me back to MailChimp and I will finish my settings. All right, first name Mike, last name Beck, continue. Name of your business, call tech, no, ooh, no, no, geez, call dot limo, continue. The address 301 East Pikes Peak Avenue. You need this information because that's what's gonna show um, when you send an email, okay, mandatory fields, Colorado Springs, CO903, United States. All right, so we don't sell anything online. We're not shipping things, right? You can connect to your Facebook. I'm not going to go through this step now. That's not the point. And now I recommend that you receive, you subscribe to this newsletter they send. Uh, subscribe to Getting Started because they're going to send you tons of very, very uh, useful information. So connect to this one. I'm not doing it right now because I know about it. And you will see that now I am, come on, come on, you can do it. Yes, I am good. MailChimp tells me that my account is ready. So in order to send the good communication, the right communication to the right people, you need to create lists. So what is a list? Well, it's self-explanatory. A list is a list, right? Where you will be able to put people based on their status. So basically, when we create an automation, this automation will be sent, these emails will be sent to the people on this list, the list that I will create. So I recommend you start with creating a list of existing customers. So these are the customers that you already have and who are not on your system yet, okay? You want them to download the app and start using it. So this list is not managed by Carl. This is the very first list uh, where your client, your existing clients will be. So it's gonna be, for instance, uh, yuppie, let's put, okay, call, call tech, okay? So then you can put your, uh, sorry, there was, here. And this is the email address uh, info at call.limo, for instance. Then I give a name to uh, my emails, which means each time an email will be sent to this list, it comes from call, call tag. You can put whatever, I can put Mike. This is what's going to show uh, on the email. Then you need to put a reminder why your clients are on this list. So thank you for being one of our valued customers. Okay, this is the address that's gonna show, you can edit it. 
and then just choose daily summary that's enough. You click on save and this list is now created. You don't want to put contacts in this list for now uh, because if you do they will not receive the automation because we created after adding contacts. So first thing create automation. So this is my first list. Now going back to my list I have this first list now I need a list for the clients who sign up on the app. So I create a new list and I call it registered clients from info at call.limo and same thing Mike Bu call technologies okay short reminder thank you for signing up on our app so now they know why they're here daily summary save I go back to my list so now I will create one more list for the clients who made a booking okay as soon as they make the first booking we will remove them from the from the registered client list and put them in the uh, paying client list so let's create this list paying clients list from info at call.limo same thing, Mike call technologies. And now the reminder is simple. Thank you for booking rides on our app. Daily summary, and I save it. And yeah, I know it's gonna be boring, but we need to add one more list. And this list is for what we call um, the VIP clients. I'm gonna tell you why right after, just trust me. So VIP clients from VIP at call.limo, call VIP service for instance. And then thank you for your returning business. Now when I know why they're here, daily summary, and now I save this list. All right, so that's when it becomes interesting. Uh, we will dive into creating emails right after that. I want to just start doing the settings both on uh, Mailchimp and Call. So the next step is to connect Call to your Mailchimp account. So you click here, you go to Account, then you go to Extra, API Keys, and you will create a key. So now that you have this key, you will be able to copy it, copy, and we will paste it in call. So let's go to call. Call is here. Let me log in in a um, demo account. So I'm on test.call dash, that's just for testing, at call.limo, and my password, login. Here I am. Okay, so this is my test company. So everything in test environment is really slow to load. Don't worry, it's not gonna be that slow on your system. Um, so where am I gonna connect my MailChimp account? So you just go to profile on the top right corner, click here, click on MailChimp integration, and then you're gonna paste this key that you just got from uh, MailChimp. So MailChimp is loading. And now you can see that um, I can set up the registered clients. So I will set it to registered clients, okay? And I also want to add other lists, like the paying clients will go to paying clients list. Then VIP clients go to VIP clients. And I decide that in my company, a client becomes a VIP when he does five rides with me. So what does this mean? It means that when someone signs up on your app, we automatically send uh, his contact information to this list, registered clients list. And you will be able to trigger a an email automation saying, okay, when they sign up, I wanna send them this email. Um, two days later, I'm gonna sign them that email, etc., etc." Now, when the client makes the first booking, 
we remove him from the registered client list and we put him in the paying client list. And this is a very different list. Now they paid. Okay, so now your goal is to get them to book you again and again. Now, when they do five rides, because that's my setting here, as soon as they complete five rides, we remove them from the paying client list and we put them in the VIP client list. So why do we make a difference between the paying clients and the VIP clients? Simply because once your client books five rides or 10 rides, whatever you set up, that means that this client built a habit of using you. Okay, that's important because now you want him to share. You're not here to promote your service anymore, at least not as much as in the paying client list. You're more here for them to share your app with others. You want them to talk about you, you want them to share the app, you want them to bring you more business. So I did these settings, I save it, and from now on, everything is automated on Carl. You don't need to worry anymore. Your clients will always be assigned to the right list. So that's great. Now they are in a list. So what? <laughs> what comes next? Well, uh, what comes next is pretty simple. We need to create automation. So if you know how to do that, you can stop the video here. If not, uh, I'm going to show you quickly how to create an email automation. So you click on campaign. That's the first step. Okay. And we will create a campaign. So click on create campaign. We want to create an email campaign. So I click on this one and then we want to automate this campaign. We don't want to have to push the mails one by one. We want this to be completely automated. Um, I recommend you, you use this first solution, welcome new sub subscribers, whatever the campaign you create and you give it a name. Okay. Um, push registered clients to make a first booking. Oh, no, I'm stupid, sorry. I'm going to care for your existing customers list. Get my customers to download my app. All right, and I select the list. So this campaign will be triggered for people in the existing customers list. Begin. So MailChimp has now created a campaign. As you can see, we have a first email that's not designed yet, and we will create additional emails. So number one thing I want to do is edit the trigger. I want this email to be shot instantly when they sign up. At the very moment they sign up, I want this email to be sent. Always click on this one, trigger when subscribers are imported. Okay, if you want to import um, an Excel file of clients, then they will uh, start receiving this email. I click on this one, update trigger. And now we will design this email. So let's go to design and have some fun. So the name of the email, I'm going to call it, call it email number one. You see, that's very creative. The subject. So the subject is important. That's what makes people open your mail or not. So always spend time and test it. If you see that your open rate is not very high, I'm going to show you how we can we know that, then you really want to work on your subject. So we developed our own app to ease your booking process. So that's pretty simple. And then we have a preview text. So this preview text is not necessarily the text they will find in the email. It's just, you know, on your phone, you can see the, the, the subject and then you have a few words of, of the email. So that makes you decide if yes or no, you're going uh, gonna to open this mail. So in order to make your booking experience more satisfying, we developed our own, oh, damn, our own app. You can book rides with us 24-7 get instant pricing and track 
you were okay so we reached the character limits but this gives them uh, an incentive to open the email so the email comes from mike called tech but you can of course change it and this is the email address it's sent from just make sure that you receive emails on this address so next we are going to select a template so right now you will see we don't have any templates we will create one quickly uh, take this first layout the simple one and we will work on this one all right so the first thing we want to do is put our own logo so i click on the logo i go to the right and i replace it i'm going to replace this with my own logo upload so let me find this one boom 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 download chuk, chuk, chuk. where is it kkk i'm gonna put this white k all right uploading the picture now this is way too large so i'm going to edit my picture and i'm going to resize it so 150 pixels should be just perfect save let it update perfect I will also uh, change the background. I want it to be rather dark. I'm going to use the code 212121, which is one of our codes. All right, it starts looking better. Now let's edit the text. Same thing. The text is going to be, we leave a lot, ooh, our own app. All right, now I gotta change the color so that I can see it. Well, maybe not that clear. Let's try this. Okay, that looks better. All right, so now I have my title. I need to create, of course, a link to my app. So how do I do that? That's a very good question, actually. So let's jump to Google and go to the website called um, appurl.io. So this website allows you to create one single um, link that's going to send the customer either to your website, if he's on a computer, or to the App Store, if he has an iPhone, or to the Play Store, if he has an Android phone. Okay? So in case of Twitter use, you just give a name, call technologies or whatever the name of the company is your email is info at call.lemo and then I will give my website address http call.lemo I'm gonna activate Apple and Android so that's when it gets a little tricky you need to find the links to your apps. So we're gonna go to Google and I will test it out with one of our clients' apps. Um, which one am I gonna choose? I'm going to choose Solid Transport in Dallas. Thank you, Louis. Solid Transport app. And then you should find it. Solid Transport app, 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 app. Okay, so I can't find him right now. So let's go directly to the Play Store, play.google.com, solid transports. And here it is. You see, so now I find my app, I copy the address in the, in the address bar, and I go back to app URL. So this is for Android. I paste it here. Now we need to find Lewis company, Solid Transport on uh, iTunes as well. So Solid Transports, it came with the S actually, app. Solid Transport apps, that's why we didn't find it. Now we can find it. Here, same thing on Apple, okay? The app is showing here. I'm going to copy this link and I'm going to paste it here. All right. You scroll all the way down, you're not a robot, and you save and create. So the thing it did was creating this one link that's going to send me either to the website or to the app, depending on the device I'm using. So right now I'm on a computer. Let's try what it does. I paste it. It should send me to call.limo. 
All right, here I am, color.limo. So it's working. You also have a QR code that you can put on your um, business cards, in your car, wherever you want. So just copy it and, uh, and, and, and keep it on your hard drive. So now I'm going to use this link, okay? I copy it and I need to find a picture uh, to link it to. So my picture is pretty basic. I need app store PNG image and I'm going to take an image where I can see both stores like this one. It's nice because it's wide. So I take this picture and I save it. Save it as stores. Save. Now I go back to MailChimp and I'm going to change this picture for the one I just downloaded. Replace. Upload a new picture. Downloads and I called it, what did I call it again? Stores. Okay, so S, 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 stores. Here we go. Perfect. So now we have the picture, but we need to put the link, right? So we copied this link. I'm going to click on link and add the link. Insert. Now when your customers will open the email, they can click on this picture. Wherever they click, it's going to send them to the right store. Next thing, just some text. Don't put, don't put too much text here. Just something simple. The headline is important. Most people won't even read the rest. Okay, so we discovered that your clients may struggle downloading the app for one reason. They are afraid you become some kind of Uber or Lyft or whatever. Uh, they want to make sure that it's still you. If, if, they, if they don't feel comfortable with this, they will keep calling you or texting you instead of using the app. And the reason you want them to use the app is to get more bookings with the very same clients. That's the whole point of using Call, right? Getting more bookings. So I recommend you put something like this. The uh, cars you like, the drivers you trust, the service. Well, I'll keep it like this. It's not going to be too long. The cars you like, the drivers you trust. Okay. No worries. It's still us. Okay. Call Technologies uh, has the pleasure Ooh. to drive you anytime you want. Okay, so that's first sentence. We just tell them, okay, they don't need to worry. They can use this app. Now, what? why should they use this app? Making a booking. Uh, no, 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 this is bad. In order to make your booking experience more satisfying, we developed our own app. So that's the purpose of the email, right? Number one, they don't need to worry. Number two, this is our app. It's not someone else's app. Download it now. Call to action to start making bookings in a few seconds you will get instant pricing you'll be able to book a ride directly directly from the app now retrieve your invoices and even track your driver. That's what they can do with the app. And that's it. Just now add one last sentence. If you need any help, feel free to call us at 111-222-3333.
All right. The last thing we want to do is add a call to action. So I'm going to use this button, call it down, load our app now. Okay, so if you don't want to put an exclamation mark, don't put it. And that's where we paste the link we had before. Save and close. Now, I don't need this module. I'm going to remove it. Okay, you also have these buttons that I recommend you set up right now. So if you have a Facebook page, add it now. Call Lemo, for instance. Um, if you don't have a Twitter, you remove Twitter. If you have an Instagram, you put it here. Call Tech. And the MailChimp, uh, your website address, sorry, which is, in this case, called Lemo. And I save this thing. Now my email is ready. I want to do one more thing because I don't want to do that every single time I create an email, right? I don't want to change my background, my logo, uh, my, my link to the apps, etc. I don't want to do that every single time. So I will save this email as a template. By the way, I'm going to change the color of this button. Show you how that works. Because I want one of my colors, which is FF. God. Okay, you don't want to do that. FF5722. Here we go. We have our beautiful orange. Save. I'm going to save this email as a template so I can use it over and over again. I will just need to, then I will just have to change the title and the text and maybe add some pictures. Save as a template. Let me call this my own template. Save. All right, I return to the workflow. Now I can save and return to the workflow. This email is now ready, okay? So every time someone is added to this list, the, at the moment he's added to the list, he's gonna receive this email. I wanna do one more email, and then you will do more emails further down the line. Um, this email will be triggered one day after a subscriber received the previous email, but I'm going to edit it because I don't want them to receive it at, let's say, midnight, right? If they create an account at midnight, I don't want the, the email to go uh, to be triggered at midnight. I want this email to be... Sorry, this is not where I want it to do it. Sorry, it's here. I want to edit the schedule. So this email can leave every day but I want it to leave at a certain time. So I want it to be sent at, let's say, 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Okay? Save the schedule. If you're on the East Coast, yeah, set it up to 9 a.m. Uh, that's because we are on Mountain Time. So assuming this company is on the East Coast, then I want to send it at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. Because if you send it in the middle of the night, then your email will be hidden under a pile of other emails they received uh, in the meantime. Save schedule. And now I can design my email. So I'm going to show you how to use your template. So email number two, the subject is we are always here for you. The pre preview text is when Booking on our app, you are 100% sure one that one of your trusted drivers will come pick you up on time. If you want to, you know, talk about Uber without talking about Uber, don't wait in the cold our no, your driver is waiting for you they will understand that now i save it go to the next step my next step is creating designing the email so this time i can go to saved templates and this is my own template so don't pay attention to this question mark that's because I just created it. So I click on it, and you will see that now my email is almost ready. Open, open, open. You can do it. Perfect. 
So this time it's different, okay? The service you love enhanced, for instance. Yep, enhanced. Just want to remove this question, these exclamation marks. I still keep the link to my app because, again, the goal is to have them download the app. Then I can add some text here. I'm not going to go deep into this because it's going to make a long video. Uh, this is the maximum, by the way, uh, length you want for your text. If you can do something shorter, just do something shorter. So whatever the text you put, if you want to add an image, then here's a website where you can find some free stock pictures. And they're pretty good, pexels.com. And you can put, by, for instance, women phone. And let's see what they have. Okay, we have some nice pictures. Someone who makes a booking. Let's use this one, for instance. Or, wait. Yeah, choosing an image always takes time. So this one, this one is nice, for instance. So I'm going to download this app, save image as um, in the downloads, just gonna call you 111 so I can find it faster. Um, I go back to my campaign and now save and close. I want to add a picture, so I just take this picture and I slide it here. See, it's as simple as that. Um, find the picture, upload it. So it's called 111, it's here. Here is my picture. I want to edit the picture and make it wider. So this time I'm going to crop it. I'm going to crop it like this and like that. Okay, apply. Save. So what's the point of putting a picture? Um, that's always a question. Usually, limo companies just put the picture of a car, and that's probably not your best option. For one simple reason, that's not what you offer. You offer a driver, you offer an experience. So, uh, you want to put a picture of an action, like a driver opening a door, or in this instance, someone making a booking. That's what people go are going to understand, right? The service you love, in hand. So, I can keep making bookings here. All right, I save and close, and I save and return to workflow. So now my email is ready. I just want to show you one last thing, uh, testing this email and seeing how it's going to work. So um, once your campaign is ready, you go to Next to confirm your campaign. If everything is green, then you go to Start Workflow, Start Workflow. Here you go. Now your clients will start receiving um, this beautiful, these beautiful emails. So I will go to the list. We were working on the existing customers. I open this list and I'm gonna add a contact, add a subscriber. So this subscriber is gonna be me, Mike at call.lemo. Mike, back, and that's enough. I don't need more information. USA, this person gave me permission to email them, so bing, I click it here, subscribe. Now, if I go to my campaigns, I will find that there is an email, view queue. Okay, I have one email in the queue. So this email will be sent shortly. Once it's, it will be sent, I will receive it in my mailbox. So let's just update the page I haven't received it yet nope so it takes some time for MailChimp to send your first email but this is the way it works you see it's in the queue and then it goes to the subscribers once the email is sent you will have some data here like the open rate and the click rate the open rate is how many people open your email. That, that's very important. And this is, uh, if your open rate is really low, like it's five, six percent, then you really want to work on your subject and on your preview text. 
and you will see some changes. Now, if the click rate is low, it means that the content is not appealing enough for them to click on the link and download your app. Oh, let's see what happened. Here you go, I received the email, you see? So this is the mail, it went to my mailbox. Now if I update, if I update this page, you will see that this time, Okay, give it some time to update. I will have a 100% open rate. Okay, you will have that later, okay? 100% open rate. And if from my email I click on download your app, then I will also have a 100% click rate. All right, I hope this video was useful for you. It was a lot of information. If you have any question, feel free to get in touch with us. Uh, one last thing before I forget, I recommend in every automation you put at least five emails. Um, if you need some help to write the content, feel free to get in touch with Jake uh, or send us an email to app at call.lemo, app at call.lemo.